Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Guys, we're making another cardboard item this morning. Uh, this is a series of cardboard projects I've decided to develop on the channel. For this week, we're making a, a similar uh, a representation of a, a mid-century starburst clock design that's popular from the 50s. I saw this similar design on the internet. I thought I'd try to make something similar. I was able to find a clock face that was similar to the one that I wanted to try to make. In order for you to make it, or for me to make it, all I did was use cardboard and contact paper. It's very simple design. It takes a little while to make. After you decide on what clock face you're going to use, you just want to use the, di the diameter of the clock and make it into equal sections. In this case, eight, because we have eight rays. Each one of these Things sticking out are like rays of light from a starburst. I guess that was the design. And we've, I'm going to be gluing them onto the centerpiece. It has the back cut out so we can access the battery and the uh, thing to adjust the time. The project was simple to make. I'm, I did, was going to paint these uh, either a copper or gold something to match the clock, but I I saw one design on the internet where they used the wood and wood accents. So I said, let me try the contact paper. Now, when I cut out the cardboard, I made a mistake. I didn't cover the edges with masking tape, and by not doing that, it made it difficult to cover the edges of the, the cutout cardboard. But you're going to cut out eight rays. In order to get your rays, you, like I said, first you need to get the diameter of your clock, then use a little compass to put an inside circle that gives you about three quarters of an inch. This is going to allow you to, to glue your ray on. This part of the cardboard won't be seen. It's going to be right like that. You're going to have eight of them, and you can trim them a little bit if they're off. Now, to get the, to the size of the ray, I, I played around with it. I'll leave this uh, on the end of the video. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a scan of it so you can see what the dimensions were. Um, but also, I'll, I'll put this clock on the wall after I have it glued up so you can see what it looks like instead of laying down in a mess of paper like I have on my, my workspace. <laughs> uh, but it was kind of cool because I was going to paint the clock. Uh, and make it similar color, but then I decided to use the tape, and I like the way the tape has made a little uh, a little mark at each hour part, and the the geometry is kind of cool. Um, so I'll be gluing these on the back with the hot glue. You can also stiffen these up by adding some splines made from some bamboo skewers or even uh, those big popsicle sticks, something like that would give it more uh, uh, strength, but it's going to be attached flat to the wall, so there shouldn't be much stresses put on it at all, other than the stresses of time. <laughs> uh, so I'll put this together and put it on the wall and you can see what it looks like. Now, I'll put this in my do-it-yourself playlist. I have I have over almost 1,100 videos on my channel, a bunch of different subjects, new every week. Um, but I have a lot of stuff that's do-it-yourself. You might want to check out that, that playlist out. And like I said, over almost 1,100 videos. If you go to the top of anybody's channel, they have a little uh, a tiny uh, magnifying glass. You can put in words in that box, and it'll search the channel and find if there's any uh, videos on the subject you're searching for. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> After 14 years, I forget I made videos about certain things. <laughs> but you can find all sorts of videos on my channel by doing that, by searching. So guys, I'll put this together and put it on the wall and you can see what it looks like. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'll answer anything I can and be putting more new cardboard stuff on um, as the weeks continue and Amazon keeps delivering. <laughs> Take care. See you out there. Thank <laughs> you.